Let's go. Hey, it's me, Thomas Jefferson from TarverAcademy.com, and I have got the problem of the day for you. Let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to solve inequalities. And I've given you one that has a weird rule, so keep that in mind. Something crazy could happen. Pause the video, try to work it, and then we'll work it together. Go. Wow, that was fun. Good stuff, good work. Proud of you. All right, so let's look at this problem. What we want to do is we want to solve this just like it's an equal sign there, except for one exception. You would solve it and try to get x by itself. But the only thing to keep in mind is if a negative, negative goes across the sign, okay? So if I try to multiply or divide a negative across this sign, that's when something's gonna, different is going to happen. So let's just start working it, and then we'll see what happens. All right, so I want to get my regular numbers together, and I want to get my x's together. So the easiest way to do that is to take the smaller x and put it on the other side. So you got 2x and negative x. The easiest one to get rid of is this one. So you add x to both sides. That becomes 0 and cancels out. Now here's the trick. Bring everything straight down in a line. Always work straight down. Don't ever work across. You're going to make, you're going to just, a recipe for disaster. So 2x plus x is 3x. A lot of times kids will just put, oh, this 2x because there's no number in front. You can't add something to something and not change it. Remember, you have to add something to it, okay? Now I'm going to bring this down, negative 4, then greater than, and then bring nothing down there, and then 10. Now I want to get my numbers over here. So I add 4 to both sides. That becomes 0. Bring all my stuff straight down, greater than 14. And then it's 3 times x, so the opposite of multiplying by 3 would be dividing by 3. So x is greater than 3 or 4. That doesn't reduce. If you wanted to, you could put it as like, what's that, 4.6 repeating. Your teacher probably want it in the 14 over 3, but you found the answer. Now, did we ever negative divide a negative? No. Sometimes think people will hear that rule, and if they remember it, they'll be like, oh, no, I added a negative. No. It's only if you multiply or divide. How about to sneeze? Hold it. I apologize. That was yuck. I'm glad you didn't see it. All right. That's all we have today. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, and I hope that if you could, you go to tarveracademy.com and you'll subscribe. Thanks. Bye.